Actor John Allen Amos Jr. passed away at the age of 84 in Inglewood, California. Known for his role as adult Kuta Kente in the Roots miniseries and James Evans Sr. on Good Times. Before his acting career, he signed with the NFL's Denver Broncos, but was unable to run the 40-yard dash due to pulling a hamstring as he was released on the second day of training camp. He went on to having an acting career, and before he was on Good Times, he was on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Then he portrayed as James Evans Sr. on Good Times. He left the hit sitcom due to clashing with writers for having Jimmy Walker's character J.J. be a stereotypical character with a buffoonish personality. Esther Rowe, who was Florida on Good Times, felt the same way. Mr. Amos' character was killed off. Esther Rowe eventually left the show due to Jimmy Walker's character J.J. becoming a more fatherly figure after James Evan Sr.'s passing. And when that did not work out, the show brought in Moses Gunn, who portrayed as Florida's new love interest, Carl. Viewers in Esther Rowe herself were not pleased with adding Carl to the show, and she returned for the final season of Good Times. Mr. Amos also was in the Coming to America original movie and sequel. He also made a few guest appearances during season seven of Two and a Half Men. He was so funny in those <laughs> those guest appearances on Two and a Half Men. Mr. Amos died on August 21st due to congestive heart failure, but his death was not reported by the media until October 1st. When his death was reported by the media on October 1st, it came out saying that he died due to natural causes, but that wasn't the case. It was due to congestive heart failure. He was cremated on August 30th, nine days after his death. Even his own daughter did not know he died until it was reported by the media. You can also check the link in the description box, um, the Hollywood Reporter article, and find out more what happened on why his death wasn't reported by the media until October 1st. And apparently it had, had to do with some family dispute. And yeah, it was just... It was just a hot mess. Even his own daughter, Shannon, didn't know about his death until it was reported by me on October 1st. Because I'm like, okay, he passed away August 21st. Why is the media now saying that he passed away on October 1st? Like, that, that didn't make any sense. You just check the link in the description box and you'll find out more. As for Good Times, the only original cast members that are still alive are pretty much the kids. J.J., Thelma, and uh, Michael, they're the ones that are, you know, pretty much still around while the rest of the original cast are gone. You know, Esther Rowe, she passed away in 1998. John Amos just passed away. Johnny Brown passed away back in 2022. Jeanette Dubar is gone. I know Jenna Jackson was on Good Times, but that was later. That was in the later seasons. I'm talking about the original cast that was there since day one. You know, Jimmy Walker, he's 77 now. You know, he still looks the same as he did on Good Times. Bernadette Stannis that played Thelma, oh my God. She is still fine. She's still sexy. She looks great for her age. She's 70 years old. She does not look 70 at all. And she still looks the same as she did on Good Times. That's crazy. Ugh. Gosh, she still was fine. Ugh. And then there's Ralph Carter that played Michael. I mean, he still looks the same. He looks the same as he, as he did on Good Times. Ralph Carter is 63. Yeah, rest in peace of John Amos. He obviously lived a, a long and I'm sure a good life. So his daughter says that we are devastated and left with many questions about how this happened 45 days ago. Learned about it through media like so many of you. She posted on her Instagram account. 